Yes. Right, Pastor. Read on. Read that you should abstain from fornication. All right. And that's a big thing in churches. Yeah. Right up on the elements, y'all know there was fornicating like nobody business. So Dick and Oki know what I'm talking about, and this pastor do too. Right when the gospel was preached hot, heavy, and ready. Yeah. And they yeah. were fornicating. Messing up. One sister tried me, but I told her I'm married, happily married. Sister, keep on downtown. <laughs> There you go. Read. Yes. That every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. Yeah, when you're, and you don't know how if you don't have the word of God. Amen. Amen. Let the word of Christ, I'll miss y'all left the third chapter of Colossians. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. richly. Not yes. poorly, richly. That's it. Read some more, please. Mm -hmm. Not in the lust of concupiscence. Yeah. Even at, That's e a uncontrolled. Mm -hmm. Some people have uncontrolled lust. Concupiscence, says, uncontrolled lust. They want every woman they see. Being married to. Whole moms. You got to be careful, sisters, to deal with whores and whole mongers in the church. And I hope that none come in, but you got to be ready if they come in, shaking their hips and letting their backbone slip. Read some more, please. Yes, not unless you can keep in sense, even as the Gentiles, which know not God. Yes, read. That no man go beyond and defraud his brother in yeah. any matter. Yeah, and that, that, that gets in the church, taking one another to court. That's out of divine order. I know they don't want to hear me. Some of them done, done that right in church. You don't take your brother to church, to, to court. You take him to church. <laughs> yeah, y'all get that? Yeah. Take your burden to the Lord. If you trust and never doubt, he'll surely bring you all up. talk to me. Y'all getting sleepy, Amen. but I'm wide awake. Uh, preach it, on, preach it. Uh -huh. Because that the Lord is the avenger of all such. Yeah, vengeance is mine. 12 chapter Romans. He said, Deacon Kirby, he said, I will pay. Yeah. Amen. Don't worry about your enemies. Let them worry about you. Yeah, Amen. You love them. Read. As we also have forewarned you and uh -huh. testified. Yes. Read. For God hath not called us to un unto uncleanness. Uncleanness. But unto what? Holiness. A holiness. Follow peace with all men. Holiness without precious one. No man shall see the Lord. Yeah, this gospel will wake you up. Yeah. Shake you up. It's a shake up, wake up. You have a wake, a wake, a wake to righteousness. Amen. Amen your ways. But you, got, you can't be sleeping and amend your ways. Yes. You, you got to be awoke with this. <clears throat> this gospel. Amen. Because your flesh, your flesh, you can leave right out of here tonight and your <laughs> flesh will tell you, they didn't know if you really heard the word of God tonight. This morning, you know, the mm. devil know. The devil ain't stupid, you know. Yeah. He may act stupid, but he make you stupid. He yeah. make you stupid. That's it. He make you stupid. Yeah, <laughs> you heard me. All right, read, please. He therefore that despiseth despises not man, yeah. but God. Yeah. Who have also given unto us His Holy Spirit. You have the Holy Spirit. Acts five. 32, repeat this after me. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is, given is given to them, to them that, obey God. that obey God. You got it? Yes. Let me say it. You say, I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah. You woke. You woke. You woke. All right. Come on. Read this one. You got three more verses. Read. But as touching brotherly love, yeah. you, you need not that I write unto you. Yes. For you yourselves are toward of God to love one another. This role model gospel. You really ought to keep this church role model. Role model, so the pastor can, can, won't be ashamed of our lifestyle. He won't be ashamed that, hey amen, that one, that somebody tell him one of his members is out there doing something that is not of God. Amen. Keep yourself pure. Is that right, Deacon? Okay. You heard me good. You gave it to me when I didn't know what this was all about. Yeah. Hey amen. I love you for it. As a father and a grandfather in the gospel. Read some more. Two more. Come on, I'm be out of here. And indeed you do it toward all the brethren yeah. which are in Macedonia. Yeah. But we beseech you, brethren, that you increase more and more. more here, here we go again. More and more. Yes. You grow in grace. Yes, every day. Grow in grace in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's it. Second Peter 3.18 and Ephesians 4.15 say you grow up. Some people in the church, they never grow up. Why you talk to them all the time and preach to them all the time, they never grow up. They always got to stand mouth with news. Hmm. With no happy news. Get a life. All right, read on. And that you study to be quiet. Study. Not to be nutty. You study <laughs> to be quiet. 
Some people run their mouth all the time. They run their mouth all the time. And they ain't saying nothing. I work with a man on the job and they named him Radio. <laughs> he, he talked all the time and then a lot of time he didn't know what he was talking about. And they used to tell him, Radio, shut up. Shut up. Just yakety yakety. And you women, sometimes you got to be careful. Sometimes you can talk over the phone for two hours instead of talking to Jesus in the Word. Amen. Your brother can do it. I'm just telling you now, sisters, don't get mad with me. <laughs> that gossip can get away. It's not the gossip, it's the gospel. Yeah. Don't get it mixed up. Can the sister say amen? amen. Don't amen. y'all hate me. I love y'all in Jesus' name. <laughs> but I'll give it to you again if you mess with me. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Read some more. One and, that, more. and that you study to be quiet. Study to be quiet. And, and to do your own business. Yeah, you can't study the word of God and run your mouth all the time. Yeah, yeah backbiting and everything, talking about, look at her. She thinks she's something. <laughs> look at him. He all dressed up. He must have got a new job. Yeah, mind your business. <laughs> I told somebody, mind their business. And one oh, pastor right. told me, you know, he know the pastor. I told, he said, did you tell somebody to mind their business? I said, I sure did. Because you, you, you're getting too deep. You don't need to worry about so who somebody going to marry. If they in love and, this, and, and the pastor has given them counsel about the word of God and everything, you just mind your business. You take yeah. care of your own husband. Amen. Take care of your own wife. And pray for the new couples. And if they come yeah. to ask you any, uh, ad, for advice, you know how to handle them. Read yeah. one more. Read. And to work with your own hands yeah, as we commanded good. you. Yeah, get a job. That you may walk honestly towards honestly, them. Honestly, to them, towards them, read. That are without. That are without. Read. And that you may have lack of nothing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. This, these are pre-instructional guidelines. Amen. Amen. Holy guidelines before the rapture come. As I close, as I told them today in Sunday school, there's four events. Which one are you going? I'm going to be ready for the rapture. There's the rapture, which is the coming of the Lord. Number two is the day of the Lord. That's the seven years of tribulation. And God knows you're talking about you catching a little hell now. You don't want to be there when the Antichrist reigns for seven years. That's the day of the Lord. God bless you. And then number three is in that day. All this is through the testament. The pastor can help you with it. And Isaiah, and I'll be back and make share some more with you. In that day, that's a thousand years millennium, where the devil will be bound for a thousand years. God going to let you see, let the people see during that period how nasty you can be without the devil. People are talking about the devil made me do it. No, the devil will be bound. And God going to let you and I see, let the people who are going to live during that day, how nasty and ugly and sinful and low down and abominable that you can be without the devil messing with you. And then that's number three. Number four, after the thousand years of millennium, all these are scriptures, then eternity. I want to be ready. He's coming again. He's coming again. And it won't be very long. My blessed Savior coming back again. He's coming again. He's coming again. You don't have to work with that next time. All right. Thank you. Pray for me. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we come thanking thee for all things, your blessings, great and small. Bless us now as we come to feast a little bit more from the fountain that never runs dry. Grant us all a little more grace that we run this race. 
protect and lead us all on the glory each and every step of the way. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray and for his sake we